back to another video. Today I'm starting the video from my bed in my room because I'm going to film an update because I'm going to the hospital on Saturday and I kind of want to take you guys along a little bit. Obviously you won't be coming into the hospital with me but I'm going for my first back appointment so it's the first time seeing the specialist so fingers crossed it's going to go well they're gonna send me for some scans hopefully and we're gonna see how, how this appointment goes depends whether or not i'll be able to get back in the saddle this year so i'm really nervous and i want to bring you guys along because it gives me something to do other than worry so the reason i started this video from my bed is because in vlogmas 4 you will have seen i mentioned that i bought a new pillow and it wasn't there in time to include it in that video and it's now here so this is my new pillow, it is a v-shaped cushion, it's super comfy, it's super fluffy but it's also nice and supportive so I can kind of sit here and have the support on both sides as well as my back as well as obviously my normal pillows so that when I'm editing from bed or I'm doing uni work I've got that bit of extra support because whilst I know working from your bed is bad my office chair is even worse currently so I'm kind of just taking what I can and running with it I am actually getting a new desk and chair, I have something called an ergonomic assessment next week with uni which is where someone is coming out to assess my needs with my back and my pelvis and I'll be getting a new chair and a new desk and some other fancy office equipment to go with that just to help support my back as a disabled student because obviously uni want me to be pain free, I want to be pain free and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's all going to go really well and I'll be able to show you that very very soon. <laughs> company called Fuel 10k and I've picked up some of their products to try so this here is the oat muffin and it's meant to be high in protein high in fiber just out of water because I'm trying to find new things to eat when I'm out on placement because when I'm on placement I'm using more energy than usual but I'm not always putting back in the calories I need to be doing so the plan is to try some of these this smells amazing this is the toffee apple and I'm hoping that they are going to make placement easier and obviously with things like the gym and horse shows I need lots of quick and easy things so I ordered a few things from them I'm going to eat this now and then I will show you what else I ordered so this is what it looked like when I took it out of the pot um it's not too bad it's not the best thing in the world it's quite a dense chewy cake but I mean with a cup of tea I don't really think I could go wrong with it so this is my haul that I purchased there's lots of different things in here and I can't wait to try them all with the hope that they're tasty <laughs> back from my hospital appointment it was kind of one of those very very satisfying because I was right but very very frustrating because I was right kind of appointments and I've now got another one with the specialist at GP in I think it's about four weeks time so fingers crossed I'll get to know a bit more then and until then I will fully update you when I get home so I'm starting this clip red-eyed puffied because I've been crying and I'm not ashamed to admit that I've cried because I've been looking for my old pony since the day we sold him and um, I found his old, his new owner, well, his newish owner. There's no one. My moo is okay. So I had Mickey for a year. I had him on loan. He was my best friend. He gave me so much confidence and when he was sold I was at a very, very low point in my life. Um, I actually don't talk much about 
that situation or what followed because I don't like to remember it. I try and forget that it ever happened. But Mickey's one of the positives that I never want to forget. He was my best friend. So it was lovely to find out that he's okay. Uh, he was with his next owner for five years. He did pony club, he did hunting, he did everything. And then he lost an eye to the eutitis. The eye condition. Let's not try and get medical there, Jade. Words are not your strong point. Uh, and then he's been in his new home for a little while. Uh, she has sent me some pictures, so I'm going to try and include some of them here. But he's okay and he's safe. And that means the world to me to know that he's doing okay. <laughs> finished filling you guys in with everything that was said by the physio so I always sit down tonight and just kind of catch you all up on where we're at so I went to see the MSK physio and he basically sat me down and said what's wrong I explained that I was there for my scoliosis with sciatica flaring up and how that affects me every day you know how I'm taking pain relief have my back brace on I go to the gym to work on my hips you know how I'm not allowed to go riding at the moment and how I'm desperate to ride again and how I'd like an x-ray or an MRI to see exactly what's going on and he said, yep, 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 you're literally doing everything I was going to prescribe. Uh, here is a referral to the MSK specialist GP. Uh, he'll see you in four weeks. And I was like, well, hang on. I was told that you were going to be able to, you know, help. And he was like, no, basically, I just have to triage you. I was like, so I waited 16 weeks to be triaged. And he was like, yeah, unfortunately. So I'm now off to go and see the MSK doctor in February. I think it's the middle of Feb. However, he is then either going to send me for an MRI or refer me on to the spinal specialist from there. So I'm not really sure what's going on. And then because I've had a few issues with my placement, I'm not sure if I'm even going to be here to be seen by the spinal specialist or if I'm going to have to commute two hours down by train to see the spinal specialist. So everything is very much up in the air. I'm frustrated, to say the least, but I'm glad that at least the ball's rolling now, you know. I mean, okay, yeah, I'm going to be a pitbull in the system again. But it's a rolling ball. And fingers crossed, I'm going to get seen very soon. And they're going to be able to do something with my back. I don't know if I need more physio. I don't need if I need to look into something different like acupuncture. Because that's been suggested to me. Honestly, I'm kind of a bit frustrated and a bit meh. But I'm sure it's all going to work out. And he did say I could get back in the huddle if I wanted to. But I had to take it easy. So... I've spoken to some friends and hopefully there'll be a new video on that very soon probably start of february so i think that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching i i'm sorry it wasn't really the update i wanted to give you but yeah i'm still working on building the muscle in my back to support my spine um i'm getting there you know i hit my target weight um in the gym the other day i stepped on the scales and was at the right weight bracket so that was exciting and yeah i think because i'm getting closer and closer to that that golden weight so to speak is i think doctors are gonna take me more seriously because at the moment i get a lot of oh but you're a bit skinny for that oh you're a bit underweight you're, you know, you're underweight that's what's wrong or your bmi is too low and that's not what's causing the problem we know that's not what's causing the problem the big s curve in my spine is what's causing the problem so yeah fingers crossed more positive news to update you on soon and i'll be able to let you all know in the next couple of weeks what the plan is and if i get back in the saddle or not so thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on the notification bell down below it really helps me out i want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's subbed so far yeah honestly i'm so grateful for you guys and i will see you in the next one bye guys